Hello, I'm Dr. Robin Stacia, AGRIP's Inclusion Resident. This is the fourth and final video in AGRIP's Inclusivity Series, Inclusivity and Pool Organizational Practices. This video identifies important processes that your pool should consider when incorporating inclusion into its operations. As shared in the previous videos in this series, pool leaders can build inclusive operational practices and culture with full confidence that inclusivity is good for their pool's bottom line performance. Among other benefits, organizations that intentionally foster teams that have both demographic and cognitive diversity experience higher employee engagement and personal satisfaction. Implementing inclusion at an operational level requires that pool leaders take time to get to know their employees' demographic and cognitive strengths, differences, and preferences. Leaders who lean into inclusivity practice disciplined and intentional strategies, such as incorporating inclusivity discussions in your staff meetings by taking time to define inclusivity, discuss its importance, clarify your commitment, and set expectations. Plan an experience that focuses specifically on celebrating your team's diversity and inclusion. Celebrate sharing and learning experiences where staff feel included, valued, safe, and empowered. Provide an opportunity for staff to complete a strengths assessment or perhaps collaboratively complete a staff diversity collage or profile. Lead a meaningful discussion about what inclusion means to each of your staff members and seek to understand how you can ensure that their voices are heard. Leaders understand that they are accountable for ensuring that inclusion is not seen as a trendy or politically correct initiative. Diversity and inclusion should not be treated as a one-time event. The most successful approach is to connect diversity and inclusion to your pool entity's core values. If your pool doesn't have specifically identified values, embracing diversity and inclusion creates a natural opportunity to define these core values and your commitment to inclusion. Now let's talk about specific practices for implementing inclusivity within your pool entity's organization and culture. First, Identify your diversity priorities and gaps. You should do this before beginning your recruitment process and interviewing potential candidates for any vacancies. Remember, there is no one-size-fits-all definition for an inclusive team. Based on your existing operations and staff, your inclusion priorities will be specific to your pool. Next, be sure your hiring practices are designed to meet your goals. During our recent A-Grip pool survey, a few pool entities shared specific strategies that they use to strengthen their diversity hiring practices. Communicate your inclusion priorities clearly to any headhunter or staffing company you use. Advertise in non-traditional forums and participate in job fairs where underrepresented candidates can learn about pool employment opportunities. Debrief and review the process if no minority candidates were interviewed. Utilize blind resume reviews in the initial interview process. Whenever possible, cast a broad net for applicants by soliciting on a statewide and national level. Assemble a diverse interview panel. This might require including diverse panel members who are outside of your pool organization. It's important that you demonstrate authentically by including inclusivity as a priority within a wide variety of operational conversations. It's not just about hiring new people. It's about encouraging inclusivity among your existing staff. For instance, you might consider how to restructure staff meetings to support inclusive, open discussions. You can do this by seeking varying opinions during staff meetings, inviting your staff to ask questions throughout the meeting, 
creating time for brainstorming during meetings, thereby supporting a culture that draws on multiple perspectives. Using different meeting formats, such as small work groups, problem solving with scenarios, and inviting guest presenters. Encouraging your staff to create inclusive cross teams. Changing who runs meetings by sharing responsibilities across many of your staff. It's usually helpful to collaboratively develop workplace inclusive language with your staff. Language that is innocuous outside of work can be non-inclusive at work. Most teams benefit from achieving a common understanding of language, such as how to discuss LGBTQ terms, how to describe race and discuss religious beliefs. This is an important discussion that are complicated Leaders should consider the value of having an external facilitator lead these discussions. Even if you make changes in your recruitment strategies and begin more inclusive conversations with your staff team, it's still easy to fall back upon comfortable habits and practices. A commitment to inclusion takes ongoing learning, so you'll need to provide additional training for staff and engage in your own development around these goals. You can champion formal learning experiences by listening to staff's input regarding the topics, format, and experts. Remember, individual team members will have different levels of comfort and openness. These differences should be acknowledged and respected. You can engage diverse subject matter experts who can enhance your pool's understanding of how their different perspectives are valuable and welcome. Some pools might want to create structured groups to support inclusivity learning efforts, such as staff learning circles, book clubs, or affinity groups. No matter where your pool decides to start in the process of operationalizing inclusion, it's important to maintain the momentum and stay connected to why inclusion matters. We invite you to learn more about inclusivity by visiting the Inclusion, Residency, and Resources section of AGRIP's website to review all of the presentations, research, and recorded programs that are located there. There are also toolkit materials to help you with your specific implementation goals. Also consider the opportunity for individual pool governance coaching with me. Submit your request for coaching to info at agrip.org. Thank you for your leadership and for taking the time to understand inclusivity.